so I am in Jeju. I just made it. I'm next to my Airbnb and waiting for the owners of the Airbnb to arrive so that I can drop off my big bag so I don't have to carry it around. So they should be arriving in like the next five minutes or so. So I'm just gonna pop over. Oh my god, there's a cat. I'm just gonna pop over there and then come back here and do some work. I got a cold brew latte because I'm running on about two hours sleep, I think. So after I check in, I may take a nap, but I'm going to try and not take a nap because I want to make the most of my time here because I'm only here for one night. But yeah, I am here. The flight was absolutely fine. I didn't really vlog anything because I've been so tired, but I am here now. And yeah, like I said, I'm just going to wait and then run over quickly and come back and do some work because I actually have a lot of work to do. Unfortunately, timing of the trip and a lot of work deadlines overlapped. So I'll be doing mostly work here, which isn't what, why I came, but it's fine, it happens. So I did want to go for lunch, but I'm not that hungry. There's a vegan place close by, just gonna be chilling writing and hanging out with you guys. It doesn't really feel like a solo vacation. Guys, so I actually got so much work done in the cafe. Am I going the wrong way? Oh my god, it's raining. I don't have an umbrella. Uh-oh. Okay, this could be a disaster. I also have a tote bag. Oh no. I was not banking on it raining. I was gonna say, I got a lot of work done, actually. And it's now 2 p.m. I was in there for hours. I feel terrible. But I had so much work to do. And I got pretty much everything done, actually. And so I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm gonna go to this vegan restaurant called, like, Cafe and You or something. But actually, Sammy's in Osaka right now on a work trip and he's just been facetiming me because he's buying me loads of stuff to make matcha so I'm really happy because I'll have like the proper stuff to make matcha with when he's back and yeah this vegan cafe I've wanted to go to for a long time but I don't usually come to Jeju so <laughs> not had the chance to go and it's basically what I kind of based the trip around like the area that I was staying in because even though I eat fish Jeju is like famous for pork so I was like oh I want to stay somewhere that I know there's definitely something that I will like and that I can eat so that's why I'm staying in this like area but yeah I think the walk isn't too far it's just 15 minutes but I walk really fast so I guess it's probably only about 10 minutes and yeah that's it I'll see you at the restaurant it's very cloudy it says it's drizzling so hopefully it doesn't start chucking it down with rain Look at the wrap. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Ah, I'm so excited. So I got the tempeh. You can choose between, I think like veggie nuggets, tempeh, or something else that I can't remember, but it's on the menu. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay guys, so I finished at the restaurant. I was talking to the lady who works there for ages and she was super, super nice. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back there if I'm in Jeju. I think I'm going in October, so we will see. But it's raining a little bit, but I wanted to just do a quick little Airbnb tour because my Airbnb is literally so cute. Look at this, oh my gosh. 
So this one is mine, and I think this one is much bigger, but this is for like two people, but it's just me. This is the entrance, so cute. Okay, and then you go inside. It's so cute. Hello, that's you. You take your shoes off here, like in every other Korean house, and then this is the little kitchen. You can use the coffee machine for free and stuff. The reason why I booked it was for this bath. It's huge, so... The woman was too stunned to speak. Uh, I don't really know how I'm supposed to fill this. We'll be having a, a very shallow bath in that later because I brought a bath bomb. And then the toilet is separate. I like bathrooms like that. And then the sink is out here. Hello again. Very cute. Come in here. We have a huge TV and a nice big Marshall speaker. A cute little table. And then the bed. So nice, look at it. It's lovely. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And now I don't wanna go outside again. But yeah, the food was really good. I, whenever I eat out, like I can never finish everything. It's so annoying. So I just ate really, really slowly, which is also nice to just take my time. But being alone, like it's, it kind of feels weird. Like I never really go anywhere on my own or like eat on my own. Luckily there was nobody else in that restaurant. And like these three girls came in and then they left and I was so relieved because I was like, yay, I don't have to sit here awkwardly by myself. But it was literally just me and Nare in the place, so it was fine in the end. Um, and then we were just chatting for like 40 minutes after I finished eating and it was really nice to have some human interaction. <laughs> I need to talk to people to, to keep me going, so I'm not sure if like traveling solo is for me. I mean, I'd quite take a nap. I'm gonna watch this footage back and just be like, what were you doing? You can tell how tired I am. Oh my God, please. Ow, my elbow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film some little shorts, I think, and, and then go and watch the sunset and go to the convenience store and buy some snacks. Um, ow, okay, I need to stop hitting myself. <laughs> buy some snacks and maybe like ramen, because I don't think I'm gonna be hungry for a big meal because that was bomb. And I still have some of the Cinnabon and I also bought, oh my God, I had Cinnabon, but I bought apple crumble pie. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. Right? Okay, let's go to the shop. What it is, oh, what's up? Maybe you can do this. <laughs> That was the unfriendliest staff in a convenience store I've ever met in my life. <laughs> okay, I don't know what, what the vibe of this neighborhood is, but I don't think I'm very welcome <laughs> here. Um, I never want to go outside ever again. <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. That was uh, slightly not nice, but let's do a grocery haul. Sandwich, that is potato and barley. It was the only thing that didn't have ham in it, basically. Uh, so yeah, literally nothing in it, just potato and lettuce for $3, for ridiculous. But they didn't have any kimbap, so, and, I got a Son Heung Min ramen cup. Look at that, so cool. Little, his little face on it, love that. These, which you may remember from Sok Cho trip that Sophia was munching on. The only good crisps that they had in that convenience store it was pretty shabby. And then this little fruit platter, which I'm probably gonna eat for my breakfast tomorrow. And at the vegan restaurant, I actually got a apple crumble to take out it might have been squished oh actually it's still pretty pristine look at that and i think i was meant to buy ice cream but i forgot People actually gave me like two of these jeju jeju is famous for oranges so they gave me these two orange juices as well 
very nice and i still have kombucha so i'll have a cheeky glass of kombucha and orange juice later i'm back now and honestly i think i want to take off my makeup and have a bath because i'm absolutely shattered <laughs> like actually exhausted i can't believe how tired i well i can't believe how tired i am it makes sense since seeing as i literally slept like two three hours two hours i don't know so yeah honestly i think i'm gonna take off my makeup and do skincare but then i want to have a bath later but i don't think i'm gonna get my hair wet i'm just trying to calculate to do my hair to like what it is honestly i want to take off my makeup and have a bath but i kind of wanted to have a bath during the sunset which is in oh actually it's in like about an hour until sunset so um, first i'm just gonna wash my face first and then see what sammy's up to probably facetime sammy and then take a bath and then probably pass out and go to sleep sun is setting so beautifully right now i'm really glad that i chose to stay in the west side so i can see the sunset this turner does not want to come out what's going on hello i think i might run a bath now and do my sheet mask in the bath this tone is really nice i mean it doesn't really f it's it's quite a it's quite a thick toner actually this uh purito one from the little travel kits it's one of the mini ones but actually it's really nice not too runny but yeah it's quite thick kind of feels more like an essence than a toner but i like it i'm gonna run that bath i think hello it's just airbnb messaging let's go and run a bath because the sun is setting if this bath bomb stains the bath i'm so screwed <laughs> but it's bubbling so the sun is setting as i'm sure you can tell <laughs> i'm running a time lapse on my phone because it the sunset is actually way more beautiful than i anticipated since it's so cloudy today but got my sheen mask on kombucha in hand and the bath is almost run and this was exactly what i needed just feeling so appreciative of everything right now even though i've been incredibly stressed and a lot of things have been getting to me recently and i've been very very overwhelmed which is why exactly why i booked this trip so it just hit me like just now putting the sheet mask on like just the little things and being able to watch the sunset and just relax a little bit <sighs> and breathe breathe i feel like i've not breathed in like the past three weeks so i'm gonna take a long hot bath and just reflect on life and then i think i'm just gonna watch a movie and go to sleep but it's been a really great day even though i've been exhausted and i also need to think about what i'm gonna do tomorrow but hopefully wake up very early and have some coffee and breakfast and then go to a cafe and then head to the airport short but sweet but definitely needed so early yesterday okay so not that early i think i slept at 10 and it's now 7 15 that's probably <laughs> the earliest i've woken up in a long time but i think i'm gonna have to wash my hair how has it gone greasy already i didn't bring shampoo okay i'm gonna go take a shower and wash my hair and get ready for the day because it's my last day So I didn't bring a hairbrush 
because I thought I wouldn't need it. Like I didn't think I'd have to wash my hair, but for some reason my hair was greasy as hell when I woke up this morning. So this is the current state that my hair is in. Um, I'm just trying to brush it with my hands, with my fingers, but luckily I brought some little hair ties, so I'm gonna be able to plait my hair. And also when you use the shampoo and conditioner in like Airbnbs and hotels, it's never good, is it? So my hair is really not happy with me right now. Oh. Snap on me now. Oh no, I did not separate those evenly at all. Okay, let's get dressed and have some breakfast. Yes, I never say breakfast, breakfast. So I originally wanted to wear this dress. So freaking cute, holiday vibes, everything. But it is windy today. It literally says windy conditions expected from 11. And this thing is not, I need to get that like, those weights that you can put in your dress. This thing will fly up and flash all my dignity. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this, I think. This denim dress instead. I'm kind of tempted to just wear it on top. I don't know how it's gonna look. Let's try. I'm really hoping that this actually looks cute. It might. I can't really tell from the, the viewfinder. Is it cute? Let me check. It's cute. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, it's kind of cute. Oh my god, it's actually way cuter than I expected. <laughs> I feel like I look like a country girl, like a farmer. Actually, this is so adorable. Okay. <sighs> Okay, let's make breakfast. Oh. What is happening right now? I feel like I'm not doing the right thing right now. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. We'll give it a try. So let's try the coffee that I probably butchered. Oh, actually, okay, it's actually fine. So just an espresso shot with a couple of shots of water, sorted. And then I got the rest of that like sandwich from yesterday. Mmm. Oh no. Seeded grapes are not the one. I hate these grapes. Oh no. Disaster. But got cherry oh. <laughs> got cherry tomatoes. Flop.com. They actually have this book here, this little book. And it has messages from everyone who's stayed here. So cute. Like actually adorable. Like there oh, there's a family who wrote about their child's first holiday. Oh my god, this is so cute. And it's all, it's all in Korean. So I think I'm gonna write a little message and write in English and Korean, mix it up a little bit and just, yeah, leave them a nice little note because I've had such a lovely time here. Let's see how well I can write. <laughs> I wrote, 아주 짧은 여행이어도 너무 즐거웠어. Even though it was a really short holiday, it was still very enjoyable. I really don't know if you can see it. It's so lovely though, honestly. Like, little things like this just make you really appreciate your time, I think. So, it's really lovely. And yeah, I'm just gonna eat the rest of my fruit and then head out and check out. Okay guys, it's officially time to leave. I'm so sad. Oh, I just need to wash this one cop quickly and then leave. I need to check out like now. Whoopsies. Somehow woke up so early and then had a very slow morning, but that's what we like on holiday. And I'm heading to a cafe up closer towards the airport and they have Jeju matcha. So I'm really excited to try it. And yeah, let's go. So I'm in a cafe called Indigo Indeed. The music's a little loud so you might not be able to hear me, but I'm just gonna have my 
matcha latte and I got a little, I guess it's like a madeleine and then I'm going to go to the airport. So I'm just going to be here for about another 30 minutes or so, so I might just read a little bit and chill. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to Jeju. I'm gonna call a taxi to the airport because I timed it so badly with the buses, but it would have been possible to take the bus. I just didn't check in time. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a lovely time. Look at the beautiful view. It's very bright even though it's cloudy. But yeah, overall this day was really, really nice. I think next time I definitely have to come for longer. One night is not enough. And there's so many other parts to Jeju. Like it's a huge island and I only really explored one tiny part of it. So definitely coming back again in October, I believe. Bye bye Jeju. See you in a couple of months. If you guys enjoyed my little travel vlog, please let me know because I'm planning on doing a lot more day trips outside of Seoul to the beach or to different cities in Korea so if you enjoyed this type of content please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in a new video next week bye bye